Today we're going to show you how to set up a PPP silo vibrator control box and also the functions it has. This control box is for multiple silos, but the single silo control box is the same, except that it doesn't have the silo selection dial on the front. First things first, we turn it on. This will light up the green power button. To calibrate the sensor, you need to make sure there is no meal in front of it inside the boot. You can then push the square, red and black buttons until the LED in the middle goes black. Once it goes black, quickly release the buttons and the sensor will be calibrated. Solo vibrators don't need any delays, so to cancel out all delays you must set it to zero seconds. You can do this by pushing the red button until the LED strobes once. This will zero out the minutes. To zero out the seconds, you must push the black button until the LED strobes once, and this will zero out the seconds. If you have a control box for a multi-silo system, you'll have a dial here to choose what silo you're feeding from. That means when the dial is set to three, the third silo's vibrator will be powered up. When the meal is finished in silo three, you'll need to change the dial to the next silo, for example, one. Once the dial is set to one, only that silo's vibrator will be powered up. However, if you have a single silo system, this doesn't apply to you. PPP Industries vibrator control boxes have a safety setting, meaning the vibrator will only run for a preset amount of time. So when your silo becomes empty, the vibrator will shut down instead of staying constantly running. You can tell when this happens by the red alarm light lighting up on the face of the control box. To restart the vibrator, simply turn the control box off and on again. All of PPP's control boxes come with a standard 59 second run period and a 5 second rest time. I'll show you how to change that. Press OK to illuminate the screen. As you can see, the rest time is set to 5 seconds on the bottom, which suits me, so I'll push OK. I will now use the plus and minus buttons to navigate up or down to the max on time, which is currently set to one second. To change that, I need to push OK again so that it flashes on and off fully. Once it's fully flashing on and off, I can navigate through the seconds to find my desired time. Once there, press OK to set it. So basically what it's going to do is run for 59 seconds, stop, rest for five seconds, then run for 59 seconds again. If it hasn't broken the bridge after the second 59 seconds, the alarm light will come on as there may be an empty silo or some other issue, such as debris in the bottom of the silo. If you're still having issues, please give us a call on 0800 901 902 and we'll be happy to talk you through it or send a serviceman out to you. PPP, your innovative agricultural specialists.